Keiko, and this is the first time of a Japanese calligraphy lesson. It's a very short uh, lesson, but I want you to um, get a basic idea of calligraphy. Okay. Um, this is the first one, and the one in July, and the third one is in August. And in the middle of July, um, there will be an in-person program, but it's a, a very limited uh, seating. And uh, please check uh, our website, all right? So the reason I added this program is, well, during the pandemic time, um, it still is, um, lots of people added uh, different hobbies. It might be craft, or it might be cooking, or it might be adding uh, different um, exercise. So I said, well, I can introduce Japanese choreography. I know you don't have the calligraphy uh, tools like uh, the brush, just a big one here, a brush uh, or SME or ink, uh, but you can use um, watercolor or markers or even pencil. So you can try it, all right? Okay. And the paper too. I use um, special paper that's um, it's called a hanshi, okay? And, but Whatever you have, craft paper, anything you can use, all right? Okay, so good. Um, we are going to cover uh, hirakana, katakana, and kanji. They are three scripts uh, which um, people use in Japan, okay? Today, uh, we are going to cover um, katakana, uh, hirakana. Hirakana, the first line of alphabet, I U L, and then we are going to try kanji, right? Kanji they look like, like this on the back of me, all right? So um, let's try it. Okay. So first one is I U L, that's uh, hirakana, in the first line of alphabet. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's A, E, U, A, O. Five letters. Okay. This is kind of speedy lesson. Are you ready? Okay. Let's go. Okay. A. Easy one. Ooh. This is very easy. Okay. A. And then O. That's the first line of alphabet, I U L. Okay, pretty easy. Now, why this uh, calligraphy is very special? Because this is art form. Okay. To make very artistic, then you are going to make kind of like a thin line, thick line, and a variety of, all right? So, um, so it's a makes more unique shape okay instead of all same line all right that's not really fun that but we are trying to achieve okay and one thing um in this choreography we don't do it is we don't do same line twice or three times to make it better no so just one time only so you have to be very decisive okay how we are going to make it this line, right? It means we have, we have to concentrate, okay? So, um, and also um, in the past when I had in-person choreography lessons, I told my student, okay, you're not just using 
fingers or hands or arms, but we are going to use the okay, whole body. Okay? And then you are making the different characters, different letters. Okay? That's more fun. Right? Um, so just enjoy various different movement. Right? It makes more fun. So, next one is, since it's almost summertime, and temperature-wise it's summer, right? So, we are going to do summer in Chinese. Chinese character, they look real, characters, they look a little bit kind of sophisticated and difficult. Yes, but it's really fun because each Chinese character has a meaning or meaning. So, um, it makes really, really interesting, okay? And I just love it to learn Chinese characters, or writing Chinese characters, okay? So, let's see, summer. How about, this is one word, okay? I am going to use um, this, a little bit of that, but that's okay. How about I'm going to use this, this one here, like this, okay? One word, uh, character, okay? Natsu, summer. I am going to use um, watercolor paint, okay? And I don't know how it will come out, but I have it here. And different here. Okay. This happened to be very thin. Okay. okay. Let's see. I'm going to use how about dark dark blue. Dark dark blue. Okay. It's Natsu summer. Okay. Ready? Okay. Let's go. Okay. Just one. One. when you go the thicker part get more pressure pressure more pressure than this part right here pressure pressure and then taking more and then thinner one and put pressure and then less pressure okay very good all right next one is By the way, this is felt board, okay? using it for story time, right? And um, <clears throat> when I do choreography by myself, I use this felt. This is for the choreography. Okay? All sorts of um, equipment. Okay. All right. Uh, shall I show you um, the ink, ink stick? I don't use it anymore. But this is the ink stick. Okay. When I was growing up in Japan, and um, we had the choreography classes okay, every week, then uh, we had to make own ink, water, and then the black um, ink. So first, maybe 10 minutes of uh, class, we had to all make own ink. But nowadays, we can purchase. So this is my ink, right? I feel like a kind of cheating, but it's very convenient, I should say. All right, next one is, um, 
what we are doing. We are doing choreography, right? So in Japanese, it's shodo, shodo. That's what we are going to do, right? A shodo. In the middle of the park, in the upper bowl, and that is called shodo, okay? choreography. Sho means to write. Do means way of, uh, or uh, maybe more uh, philosophy of, okay? principle of. Okay? So <clears throat> you hear a lot of do. And for instance, you know, judo, you know, aikido, okay? also um, kado, maybe this. You may not hear often, but kado is flower arrangement. Okay? And then you see, sometimes you hear bushido, that's a samurai way of principle. Or, okay? um, so that's do, right? Shodo. That's what we are going to write. Okay? Alright, so two characters okay? in kanji. Okay? All right, ready? So one and two. Ready? We start from right side and then left. Okay. So one, two, this is one more here. Coming down and then down. Two lines inside, one, two, and then close it. Okay. Now left side, we go that like this and go like this and then like this going down and up like this okay pretty interesting movement right yes i like that yes so this is a shodo shodo okay let's see here Shadow. Pretty interesting? Yeah. I think so. Now, next one is I love <coughs> the word Kyokan. This is in Japanese. It's empathy. Okay? So I'm going to write it to you, okay? <coughs> empathy, Kyokan. It's a two characters. Okay? In kanji, right? Okay. Let's see. Okay. One, two, kyo, kan. Right. Ready? Together, together. Can is to feel, to feel. Yeah. This is a little bit more movement. Okay. One, two, and inside here, and a little box here. I call box. And from here, 
coming down and angled and then going this way. Okay. This way. No. Down here. Like this. Yes, and then one. Okay, and the kan means to feel, to feel. Kyo kan together we feel. Okay, that's empathy. Is it very nice word? Right? Yes, I think so. Kyo kan, kyo kan. Really okay. wonderful word. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Okay. So you can see the the lines and then thickness and the very thin. Okay, and um, that makes I know artistic. Okay, very good. And then this is uh, the last one. It's a usual the friendship. That's also my favorite word. And um, you means friend. Okay? And jo is a feeling. Right? So yujo. Okay? Friendship. One more time. <clears throat> I'm going to do one more time, okay? All right. You. If too much ink, that's it's not good. Okay, so control it. just a sample right um, next time we are going to cover um, katakana also okay first hiragana 
カタカナ、and then 漢字です。a l right? So if you like the practice,、um, and then if you have any questions,、um, you can contact call center and then question to go to、uh, Miss Keiko. a l right? So I don't mind at all. Okay, please ask. And thank you very much、uh, for participating in this short calligraphy lesson. And I look forward uh, to um, meeting you again, the、uh, next one in July, and the third one in August. So, have a wonderful summer, and、I'll、see you next time. Okay, bye bye. Bye.